What's up, guys? In this video, I want to talk about Forda, a crypto I recently covered, added to my portfolio, and um, I'm definitely going to be dollar cost averaging into this crypto again. It's a crypto that's in Web3. It's specifically trying to track on chain data to track down, stop limit malicious actors into this space i want to show you guys their website so you guys can see why i'm so bullish on this crypto so it's in web3 security i call this the police crypto it's kind of like a hybrid chain link in a parsec to me it's uh it's a protocol that uses nodes to uh where companies can utilize forda and you know if they get hacked if someone starts messing around with their network, they track it down. And on this website, on this page, you'll see numerous examples of how Forda has already been used in saving a lot of companies tracking down malicious actors. And this is a crypto that just got launched in the bear market of 2022. So from an investment standpoint, we're so early, especially for a, a Coinbase listed crypto that just came out. This is a first bull cycle. Now, keep in mind that it's a 1 billion supply, so it's similar to LCX. The inflation is a little high, around 60%, but you know, when it comes to VC backed cryptos, venture capitalists, you're not going to have, you know, very good allocations for one. And two, oftentimes they have pretty bad inflation as well. Like say network has bad inflation, um Aerodrome doesn't have great inflation, so it's it's kind of expected at this point, right? So now let's go down this page so you guys can see what I see. Um, it's a very nicely done website, by the way. So if you scroll down here, it says, how does Web3 use Forda? Web3 wallets can use a scam detector to screen pre-signed transactions and protect users from scams. Now we're seeing this a lot. We even have a, you know, scammers coming up to crypto every single day. They comment on my videos. They say, hey guys, what's at me? We got one on Discord trying to friend request people. So they're everywhere, right? You're not going to stop them. But companies like this can help companies in, in the crypto space. Uh, security and compliance companies. Security and compliance teams can supplement their existing data with the scam detector staying up to date on the latest threats. DeFi protocols and bridges. Again, DeFi is the future. It's going to be very necessary to scale and push DeFi, but also have something like this that's you know backing it and securing it. DeFi can use the attack detector and tailor-made bots to detect potential exploits as early as possible and react before funds are drained or exploited. Again, very good uh, use case here. And then from an investment standpoint, asset managers can use the attack detector to receive real-time alerts for threats and impacting their positions and enabling capital preserve and action. So it's stopping companies from getting wrecked, literally. So it's its utility is unquestionable, undeniable, like needed for the future, right? Um, the only ones who I feel are going to hate uh, a crypto like this are the ones who are going to be like, <clears throat> crypto is meant to be anonymous. How could you try to track on-chain transactions? This is going to invade privacy. And I'm not really worried about those kind of opinions because, listen, uh, if we're going towards a regulated, secure future, companies are not going to utilize services in crypto unless they know for a fact their clients and their company itself are protected. And if that means regulating to an extent, if that means you know, something like this where it can track down malicious actors, they're going to do what they have to do to ensure their business is afloat and their clients trust them because, you know, with this ETF coming, DeFi place coming in, banks coming in, blockchain expanding, you know, we're going to see a future where this is used every single day. So in this case, when you have a scalable future with crypto mass adoption, you're going to need this a company like this in web3 that is going to limit and track down uh, malicious actors at base so i think this is a very good utility contrary to what you might see uh when, you, when it comes to different opinions so here's some exploit examples of how forda has literally tracked down and, there's, and this is already since they've been launched like you, you can find a, many of these already so you're in finance one of Learn Finance's old vaults suffered a flash loan attack. Thanks to advances in machine learning, Forda detected the hack 20 plus minutes before funds were drained. Huge save. Uh, Euler Finance. Forda's monitoring detected the largest attack of 2023 in advance before 197 million were drained. Okay, so we're talking a lot of money here. 
Despite Euler's six audits and bug bounty program, the protocol was still vulnerable to attacks. This is how good these scammers are, guys. Just hackers, scammers. They're very uh, tech savvy. So it makes a Web3 company like Florida even that more uh, uh, important. And, and let's not forget here, we'll get to this in a minute, but Coinbase and many BCs have backed Florida as well. So it, for, for the right reasons, right? Because they expect to be utilizing their services. Again, utility. As an visionary utility investor, you want to follow where the money's going. And this is uh, just one example. Sushi Swap, 3.3 million. Florida successfully flagged a 3.3 million sushi swap attack, identifying route processor 2 as a compromised contract after several Florida alerts fired on suspicious contracts discovered. That is very good, guys. Look at all this money that was saved. 208 million, 214 million, and then there's more here, but I don't know how to... Uh, uh, okay, we're here. See more detected. Let's see what else. Wow, this is pretty crazy. If they have a whole list, that's going to be awesome. Um, look at this recent attacks. The last one was March 28th. You see this? NFTs. Wow, but that is a lot. Phantom Foundation, even Phantom was hacked. Okay, so legit cryptos are actually being hacked. Look at this list, guys. And this is <laughs> since they've been launched. Um, that's crazy. Okay, that's very crazy. And if you want to click, you can just you know click on it and then you can read the specific hacks. So I don't want to waste too much time here, but with billions lost to hacks every year, real-time threat detection is a must-have flare in a comprehensive security approach. Guys, I'm just letting you know I'm getting more bullish by the day. And um even though I only bought this crypto once, I bought a pretty big bag because when I found stuff out like this, I'm like, this is going to be in the future. Like, this is the future. Web3 is the future. And maybe it's I'm a little biased because I, I did have, you know, early on in my uh, college career, I did have a police background. And, you know, I was interested in criminal justice. So maybe I like naturally finding cryptos like this that helps police crypto. Um, but, but let's keep going, right? So powered by the community developers can build and earn and then obviously participate you can stake in delegates which is good for governance you always want to see governance it makes it more decentralized and here's how they function which is again this is like really advanced technology that companies are going to not only use but rely on and then look at this backed by a community of world-class partners First one's Coinbase, Coinbase Ventures. If that sounds familiar, that's the one backing GFI, Goldfinch Protocol, and also Aerodrome Finance, which both of those are also big players in their own right. Um, A116Z, I don't know who that is. We can look it up, though. Uh, actually, let's do that now while we're here. Let's look up A116Z and see if that's a uh, venture capitalist. So, Andreas Horowitz. Uh, let's see. Yep, it's a venture. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna show every single one one by one and see how many VCs we actually have. So yes, this is a VC. Uh, where is it? I just saw it when I clicked it. Um, about us, maybe this is it. Um, here we go. Venture capitalist firm. Okay, so this one's confirmed uh let's stop sharing this what do we have next so now we got uh hold on guys let me just pull it up so now we got the blue yard let's check out blue yard let's see blue yard capital okay um without even going down it but let's click it um, so this is another VC, guys. Again, this is very important. So let me show you this now. Um, Blue Yard Capital. All right. Uh, continue with that audio. I definitely don't want audio. Um, investing in founders, creating the fabric of future. Okay, so we got another VC here. Now let's go back and see what else we got um so blue yards one placeholder let's see um 
So placeholder, as soon as I type it in on Google, VC pops up. It's a capital partnership in New York City, okay? Without showing you guys the screen over and over, that's a VC as well. Um, what else we got here? Um, North Island Ventures, okay, VC. Digital Currency Group, let's check that out real quick. Digital Currency Group. We are the capital engine supporting emerging talent, okay? VC. So let's keep going. What else we got here? Um, Open Zeppelin. Let's see. Open Zeppelin. Hmm. Let's check. I'm going to screen share this one because I actually don't know if this one's VC. So let's pull this up. I mean, one of these has to not be a VC. Let's see. Oh, so maybe this one's just part of their utility. Um, that's probably what it is. I mean, look, Coinbase is here. Ethereum's here. Optimism. So this is technology processes and people to minimize risk when launching and scaling. So now it makes sense why Coinbase is back in it. They're here. They're literally here. Um, yep, vulnerability. So this is part of their utility. So, okay, that's a much needed partnership. Now let's keep going. Let's see what else we got. Um, so that's one that's not a VC. Uh, standard crypto. Well, wow, there's a lot here. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm, we're going to go by this one by one, I guess. Standard crypto. It's a VC firm. Okay, so that's a VC as well. Um, what else we got here? We got Node Capital, VC, SCB10X, SCB. Let's see. I have no idea what this is. Venture Capital. Okay, it's another venture capital. What else we got? True Ventures Capital, North Zone. Let's check out North Zone. This is crazy, guys. The amount of money behind Florida is ridiculous. North, uh, as soon as I type this in, a VC pops up. Yep, Venture Capital Fund. <laughs> My God, there's so many VCs behind this. IDEO, let's check out IDEO. This is crazy. This is more than I thought. IDEO Ventures, VC. Uh, Fabric Ventures, VC. Alchemy, I would assume that's the company alchemy but let's the, from the crypto but let's just uh let's just see what alchemy is oh no alchemy ventures real estate agency wow another vc if that's the same one and then nethermind let's do nethermind these are all vcs except one uh nethermind says no this one's blockchain Nethermind's blockchain was actually screen share this one. Um, so you guys can see. I don't think this one's a VC. Blockchain research. Yeah, so this one's not a VC. But again, look at this. We empower enterprises and developers worldwide to access and build on decentralized systems. Um, let's see who's here. Yeah, all these Brevin Howard Digital, ZK Land. Okay. So this one's not a VC. I see rolled coins there, but companies are utilizing them naturally. Um, so yeah, these are all VCs. So let's see now how many we got that's uh, confirmed VCs. I think only two were not VCs. That is ridiculous. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. This one was not uh, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 venture capitalists behind Forda. That is ridiculous, guys. Ridiculous. The amount of money, first bull cycle. Now, I know a 1 billion supply is not extremely large, but it can burn through dollars. Every single dollar it burns is a 1 billion market cap. So now let's go to uh, Coin Market Cap. Um, you guys can go on the website yourself and check it out. Um, and by the way, I see Fear and Greed Index is uh, 62, which it went up a little bit from 55 the other day. It literally, literally changes every day. So now let's pull up Florida here. I'm getting more bullish as I'm reading this, by the way. 
It's very important to spend time researching. This video is probably going to be 20 minutes long. But I mean, you guys see how like it takes time to find this stuff out. And I was just on the website. Obviously, social media, the team, everything plays a factor in this. But um, I'm just giving you guys a little insight, right? Uh, so right here, right? The inflation, 1 billion supply, 38.4. But if you click the old chart, right? The lowest it got to was 8 cents. And we bought it uh, first entry at 16. So even 20, we'll say 24 cents. A 3x up from the old time low. That's very bullish. Like you're still extremely, extremely early. And then the year chart, you know, it's it's looking like it runs coming, right? This is where it was uh, a year ago. It went to uh, 43 cents. It looks like it's going to break that soon. Okay, now let's go to, uh, actually, let's go down a little bit. We'll see what else we can find. So, yeah, it's on Coinbase, the only big exchange, which it happened uh, not too long ago. Um, it's on Gate.io, Bybit, Bitmart. Okay, so not bad. Definitely a crypto I think you guys should be looking into. Um, I'm getting more bullish the more I research it. But, you know, if you guys want to know when I decide to DCA or buy any crypto, sell a crypto, if you want to be part of private Q&As, live streams, I'm doing one uh, for Discord on Tuesday. If you want to be part of this, you know, support group of like-minded investors, especially during this time, because I'll be honest, you know, Bitcoin having just took place. It's very hard to be a lone wolf and make a lot of money on your own. You can do it. Some have already done it themselves, but it really does help to be with a group. So when it's time to ask questions or take profits, you have us to balance your questions and concerns off of. So a lot of members do love that aspect of the group. We're very close. And uh, if you're interested, I'll put a link in the pinned comments down below. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. Are you holding Forda? And if so, where do you see its price this bull cycle? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.